If you've ever wanted to use Siri to create tasks inside of Notion or items inside of any database in Notion, I'm gonna show you how by just using Zapier in five minutes, you can set up Siri shortcuts to automatically add items to any database inside of Notion. So if that's of interest, stick around because that's what I'm gonna be talking about. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm the owner of Boolean, where our mission is to free you up to do what you love. We work specifically with painting companies to automate all of their manual data entry, increase their reporting, and streamline their business operations. So check the details down below if you're a painting company. And if you're just here for Notion and Siri, well, let's get into that part of the video. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is share my screen. And we're going to pop over here into Zapier and we need to say when webhook is caught, create task in Notion. So we do that. It's going to be, you know, building out this thing here. So we're going to say add all steps. In the webhook portion here, we're going to copy this webhook URL. And then what we need to do is we need to open up the Siri shortcuts app. And inside this Siri shortcut app, we are going to do the ask for input. And this is just going to say, what is the task? And then we're going to do the get URL. And this is going to be get contents of URL. And then here we're going to do the post method. And we want to do a JSON type and we're going to add a variable, switch this to dictionary. And this we could call properties. And then we can hit the down arrow here and then add this, which we will call task name and the value we can right click and click insert variable and we're going to do the provided input so that is all we need oh sorry then the um, destination url where we are going to send this is get contents of we don't want to provide input we want our zapier one here and we want to delete the that and we're going to paste in our url so that's the url we're gonna go ahead and click test trigger. And while that's testing, let's go ahead and run this and just say, this is a test task and hit done. We're gonna allow that. It's gonna process, we hit test and it says this is a test task. So now in Notion, we can go in here, choose our Notion account. I already have this connected, but there's just a few things that you have to approve there. It's pretty easy. Then we're going to choose the database that we want to add this to. So I'm going to choose our, my task database, the task name. We're going to have be the properties task name. And then you can choose who do you want to assign this to. So in my case, I'm going to assign this to myself and I'm going to put this here as well. And I might even say in the task name, I'm just going to say Siri hard code that in. So I know that this is a task that was generated through this and the rest of this is fine. So I'm going to go ahead. And if I go look at my notion task here and we go in here and click test step and we should see there is a Siri. This is a test task and it's assigned to me. The priority is low. We could uh, maybe adjust that as well. So by default, I want the priority to be low and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And now we're going to test with Siri. So in the shortcuts app, we're going to go ahead and call this create notion task. So I do that and I'm going to close out of this. And then I'm going to open up my iPhone and look in the shortcuts app on my iPhone, see if it's here. So let's go ahead and say create notion task. What is the task? I need to call my mom tonight. And let's go look in Notion and boom, there it is. I need to call my mom. So how cool is that? Hopefully that was valuable. Let me know if you have any other questions. There is also a way, and I'm gonna link to another video in the description. If you wanna integrate directly with Notion, you can do that. There's some other cool tutorials that I saw online. But I just thought this was a much faster, easier way if you use Zapier to quickly get your voice notes into Notion. So hopefully that was valuable and we'll see you guys in the next video.